A Northwest Bakersfield man catches suspicious activity on his home security system, fearing for the safety of his family. That man in a ski mask trying to make his way into the backyard, but authorities say he may not have been breaking any laws. 23 ABC's Alyssa Flores spoke to that resident tonight who says he and his family are still shaken up. Alyssa? Yeah, Tim, Jessica, Robert Doe and his family are grateful that man in a ski mask didn't do them any harm, but they say they are frustrated KCSO can't press any charges. You hear about home invasions. I don't know what the guy's intention was. Robert Doe was at work when he received a notification on his phone about unusual activity outside of his home. He immediately logged into his home security camera system. And all of a sudden I see this hand reaching over and all of a sudden I this guy in a mask. I couldn't believe it. So I kind of rewind the camera again and I see this guy walking up from after parking his car down the street, walks up, he puts on his ski mask. And that what kind of freaked me out was that he put a ski mask on. It's like, okay, what is your intention? Why are you putting your ski mask? If my family's at home, then it's gonna be a home invasion. So that was really scary. The surveillance video showing the man in the ski mask leaving almost immediately after gaining access to the Doe family's backyard. Something scared him and he took off. I understand that the sheriff department couldn't do anything. Doe reported the incident to the Kern County Sheriff's Office, who says it's not a burglary because the man in the video did not break into anything. And they say it is not illegal to wear a ski mask since the suspicious man never enters the backyard. It's not considered trespassing, meaning they can't take much action other than taking down a report. But Doe says he wishes they could. It really frustrated me because I don't know what that guy's intention was, especially with the ski mask and, you know, because it runs in your head. It's like when he's going to come back or if he's going to show up anytime when my family's here. So that's it's kind of scary. Doe says when he shared the pictures and video on Facebook, some people claim to have a similar experiences with a similar looking man. He hopes the footage he turned over to the authorities helps them put the pieces together. You know, I, I think he's been here before and I'm hoping that he doesn't come back. Again, the man in the video is not under investigation and is not considered a suspect in any crime. But if you see anyone suspicious near your home or on your property, authorities say call them. Reporting in studio, Alyssa Flores, 23 ABC. Oh, hey, Alyssa, thanks for that.